My name is Sardik Love, and I'm the president and founder of Infinity Consultant and Training Solutions. And we're a global management consultancy, and we primarily focus on management and leadership development. We spend a good amount of time helping leaders work with their employees and, and vice versa, helping employees work with their leaders. What we do is pretty wide and diverse. We primarily focus on management and leadership development, and we'll do corporate type training events. The other thing that we also do is we teach facilitation techniques. And what we did here today, we can work with any group, any organization of any size. We can work with groups as small as seven people and as large as a couple thousand. We do speaking engagements as well. So we go around the world and we do a lot of different things in terms of delivering consulting, delivering training services, and also engaging uh, folks in terms of how to facilitate professionally. At Infinity Consulting and Training Solutions, we work globally. So our client list takes us from different places such as Southeast Asia, the UK, Germany. Uh, we also have worked extensively in the Middle East. We work throughout the United States, of course. And what that allows us to do is get a wide variety of things that we can see in terms of the issues that the clients have. We can easily address those. In most organizations, you have great things going on anyway. And so it's not to say that every organization is dysfunctional. On the contrary, what happens is you've got good leaders and you've got great leaders inside the organization, you know, typical bell curve. In reality, what we're trying to do is move that bell curve just a little bit across the board. And Jack Welch actually coined this the vitality curve when he was the leader at GE. And his thought was if we move the performance curve just a little bit every year, we're getting better performance. That's exactly the model that we deliver in our programs. So a lot of the programs that we bring together, we always embed some sort of experiential exercise so that folks can actually get in and experience the content that we've just covered. One of the things that really makes us different from most other training providers is most training providers go in and provide content. So they teach. We don't teach, we facilitate. And there's a very distinct difference. Learners like to learn through experience. And so we engage them through a lot of interactivity. We start out by giving them some very good leading edge content based on a lot of research that we do and we stay cutting edge and on the front end of everything. Then we come right behind that with an, an experiential exercise to get them engaged in it. And so for example, the paper tear one, that is one of my favorite ones. Primarily because it exposes and it brings to bear very quickly how ineffective we are as communicators. Most folks think they communicate fairly well, but the reality is, and the fallacy of communication is, you think it's been done when it really actually hasn't. So what typically happens with paper tear is, I tell them that uh, your expectation is that your paper will look the same as mine at the end of the job. And I just do three paper tears. And typically the outcome will be a page with a hole in the middle. The outcome in the audience will obviously be very varied and very different. And that explains the gap in communication and lack of understanding and that exercise in particular allows us to bring out the fact that if you just simply ask me questions and I told you it's okay, then we would get to the result where my expectation would be the same as yours, the outcome would be the same, and we wouldn't have anybody thinking that somebody's uh, done something wrong. So as a result of working with us and what we do with clients is we expose all these gaps, whether it's a communication gap, it's a collaboration gap, conflict, they don't realize how much conflict costs them. And one of the simple examples I always use, no matter what type of program we're doing, is what's the percentage of conflict that you spend on average? And most people will say even 10 to 15 percent. Well, you do the math and you multiply their salary and benefits and everyone in the organization has got that going on, you've got a huge number of costs to your organization. So as a result of working with organizations, we do two things. We bring awareness to what the gaps are, and then we also give them solutions on how to deal with that. Now, a lot of companies can even do that. What makes us different is not everybody can facilitate. By virtue of taking your issues inside your organization, we can tailor our facilitator, and that facilitator on the fly can navigate the group through an experiential exercise and tie it right back to their issues inside their organization. And that is a truly smaller skill set that most folks don't have and most trainers don't spend the time in doing. That's one of the things we do and that's what makes us effective. So these folks walk away from our training programs highly engaged, they walk away with the memory of the content and then they actually have tools and, and the skill enhancement to apply them back on the job. So a good leader can come into our programs, become a great leader afterwards, and then more importantly we give them an action plan so that their senior leaders and their managers can follow up with them and see how they're progressing. And really it's all about habits. We're helping them change their habits one habit at a time.